Hey everyone, welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Christmas tree using Cinema 4D. Let's get started. I'm going to clear the scene and we can start from scratch. The first thing you're going to want to do is load up a cylinder. You're going to want to set the radius to about 30 and the height to about 2. You can go ahead and raise this up about 1 centimeter just to keep it even with the floor. Next, we're going to increase the segments in our cylinder. Click on Object, and down where it says Rotation Segments, increase that to about 100. The height segments, you can bring that down to about 1. Next, you're going to want to click on the Caps tab here, and then click on Fillet. Set the radius to about 1 centimeter, and the segments you can leave at 3. It's totally up to you though. You can even bring this down to something like 0.5. Next up, we're going to throw this into a cloner. Alternatively, you can hold Alt while adding your cloner, so long as your cylinder is selected, and that'll place it underneath it for you automatically. By default, it's going to put the mode into the grid array. We want to change this into linear. Before we continue, let's add one more value to our cylinder. If we click back in here and go to the caps section, you'll see right here it says segments. Go ahead and turn this up to about 25 or so. We go back to cloner here. You're gonna to wanna to change the Y value on here to about three. And once you do that, turn up the count to about 30. Let's go ahead and fire up the render. That way we can start getting an idea of what we're looking at. Next up, what you're going to want to do is turn down this X value to about 97 or so. And do the same for the Z value as well. So as you can see, we're already getting a general shape of our tree. But how do we get that slight waviness to the tree? We do that by adding a displacer. You can go ahead and click it and then drag it under the cylinder. Alternatively, you can just click the displacer while holding shift and that'll place it underneath the cylinder. Just make sure your cylinder is selected. Once you've added your displacer, you're going to want to come down to the shading tab. Go ahead and click this arrow and you want to select noise. As you can see, it looks a little funky, but don't worry, we're going to fix that. The first thing we want to do is come over to our object tab, select the type and change it over to RGB XYZ object. We can leave our displacer height at 10 for now. Come over to the shading tab and click on the image right here. That'll open up the noise shader properties. The only property in here we're really going to change is the global scale. Turn it up to about 250 or so, or whatever looks good to you. Obviously the higher you turn it up, the less of a wavy effect it's going to have. If you turn this down to something really low, like 50, obviously it gives you a totally different effect. If that's what you're going for, then you could set it at that. But for these purposes, we're going to go back up to about 250, 260. And that's pretty much it. If you wanted to style this a bit differently, all you have to do is just go back and change some of the values. For example, in the displacer settings, if we were to set our object height to something lower, maybe like 5, it would have a more subtle effect. And if we turn this up to something like 20, obviously it has a more dramatic effect. Just depends what you're going for. If you go to the cloner object, you can increase the spacing in between these cylinders. If you go up by whole numbers, it's a pretty big effect. So you might want to go in between. For example, 3.5. You can also do other things like reducing your count from 30 to let's say 15. Just keep in mind that if you reduce the count, you're going to have to change these X and Z values more. So if you made the tree shorter, you're going to want to turn these down. And maybe increase the count a little bit. So you could go for a shorter tree, or go back up to a tall tree and increase these. 
But as you can see, you could get a, quite a bit of variations here. Once you have this, you can go ahead and make instances of this tree, for example. You could bring this over to the side. And then just duplicate this again. And for a scene like this, since they're just instances of this object, I would recommend maybe just rotating these to give a little bit of variation. You can even go a little bit further and add another cylinder as a tree trunk. Reduce the width. I suggest bringing this to the side, that way you can get the height right. Let's do about 95 or so. And then bring this up. And then bring it back into the tree. And in this case, you would just have to bring the entire tree up. Something like that. But make sure you do this step before you create these instances. I recommend putting this into a group as well. Select them all and press Alt G. Once you do that, go ahead and create your instances again. Once you do that, you can add your materials. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, you might want to hit that subscribe button, as there'll be plenty more content like this coming in the future. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.